Hi everybody, my name is Teresa and I'm a tutor here at the college. And my name is Melina and I'm also a tutor here at Marshall Community College. Today we're going to touch basics on how you can access Canvas through your Barstow portal from home. So the first thing that we're going to do is once now we're already here because we're already logged in. So when you actually go to Barstow.edu and you go to your Viking portal, so the, the first tab on the right hand side and it's the blue tab right here, the navy blue tab, that's going to be the Viking login portal. So you want to go ahead and click there. Now I'm already signed in because I'm signed into the computer as a single sign on. However, when you get here, it's going to have you log in with your B number as well as your password. Um, so make sure that you do that as well first. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to Canvas. This is where everything is going to be that you need. Now here on the right hand side, you have your dashboard, your courses, and everything else. So we're going to get into that. But I first want to show you over here the to-do list. So on this side, you have the to-do list, and it has all of the assignments and everything that you need to get done for that class. So don't overlook this section. Make sure that you do go to the to-do list, and you do make sure that you get all those assignments in, whether it's a syllabus or anything that you have to do. Um, for an example, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into the social class. All right, and on the left side, you're going to see everything that you need. It's going to be home, syllabus, modules, your grade, announcements, and I would definitely often check that. Nobody knows what's going on, so things are constantly going to change. Make sure you check your announcements. And it's just this tab right here on the left-hand side, five down. So then you have people, conferences, collaborations, chat, your Office 365, which was covered in the other video. Make sure you check that out. And um, this number as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you the syllabus. And that was just the second one on the left-hand side. So after I click the syllabus, you're going to have your BCC mission statement, the course information for the class, and more importantly, for this time, don't overlook the instructor information. It's going to have the best way to contact them. Some of them will give you their phone numbers. Others will only give you emails. Some may give you both, as this teacher did as well. Um, I'm not sure about their office hours, if they're going to be on campus at this time, but you do have access to their number if they provide it, but definitely their email. So there is a way to get in contact with that teacher. Then we're going to go down here, and it's going to be a course description. Um, and that's been explaining what the course is, the objectives of the course, everything that you're going to learn, the outcomes of the course, the content. So this is just going to go over everything that you need. And then there's the required material. So this is going to give you the textbook and any other resources that you may need to know. Um, next, we have the attendance and drop policy. So if you're feeling a little foggy about everything that's going on, please make sure that you check your attendance and you check your drop policy. So you to do so may still not end out well for you if you just don't know what's going on and you try to do it however you want to do it. So make sure that you are, um, that you do know what the actual attendance and drop policy is and what the teachers expect of you. Um, next, we have communication, which is kind of the same thing that we went over earlier. They explain to you what's the best way to get in contact with that teacher and how they prefer you to set up that email to get in contact with them and what they actually want you to include. As you go down, they actually break down for you how they do their grades, which is this right here. You have your course calendar, um, which is just going to let you know when things are due, the reading, the assignments, different topics, different reading, um, and it just pretty much goes through that for every single module that you have. So this is just going through module six, module seven, module eight, module nine, assignment, and this is module 10, so it's pretty much all the same here. And we're just gonna scroll through as it is the same thing. So next, there is the method of instruction and course requirements. So this goes over exams, response papers, oral presentations, so everything that you need here. So then we're just gonna scroll down all the way to the bottom and it just continues to just tell you more about the college and this is just the papers here. 
and everything that you have to. So now we're pretty much finished with that tab. So next we're gonna to go to modules. And this is just gonna tell you everything that you have to do for those weeks of the modules. Pretty self-explanatory, whatever it says you have to do, you have to do for that week and that specific module. Yeah, and then if you wanna check on your grade, you can click your grade. This will tell you any missing uh, assignments that you may have. It'll be bolded here in red, it'll say missing. Um, you have your scores and then out of, if you feel like maybe you didn't get the score that you wanted, you can always contact your teacher about that. And then also we have announcements, which this is very important to check almost every day, especially with what's going on with the school. The teacher will post up um, um, any assignments that are going to be due or maybe give you guys extra time to do assignments or um, like how the school is closing, you'll be able to see that there are any updates that the teacher has, you'll find your announcement. So it's important to check that every single day. Also, if you can't get into your um, Canvas for any reason, you can also contact us at TLS, TLSE at barso.edu. Um, even if you need a password reset and you can't get into your Canvas, you can contact, contact us with your V number and your name. And we'll get back to you and we'll be able to reset the password for you so you can get into your campus. Lastly, thanks again for watching our tutorial video. And if you guys have any questions, once again, you can email us at tlsc at barso.edu. See you later. Yay!